Ms. Jackson, how are you? I got the results of your test back. All right, so we got your ultrasound, and it shows that you do have your blood clot in your brain. Gosh, that sounds like that's scary. You know, that's okay. It's something that we can treat. Okay, so we're going to have you stay in the hospital with us. We need some some medicines. You're going to go home on a medicine called Coumadin. Uh-uh, you can't get me on Coumadin. Mm -mm. Why? What's wrong? No, my aunt had a bad reaction, and I don't think it's going to... I need something else. Um, okay. L let me look. Let me see if I can find a different medication that we can use for you. Okay. Okay? All right. All right. If, if you don't, then what? I'm gonna die. No, we'll give, we'll figure out something that we can do to help you. Okay. All right. Well, let me check what we could what we have available. All right. Okay. Okay. I'll be back. All right. Hi, Beth. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. I need your help on something. Okay. I have a patient in the emergency room who has a blood clot in her leg, a deep venous thrombosis, and I need to find some alternative therapies for her. Okay. So, can you tell me a little more about your patient? Yeah, she's about a thirty-ish year old woman with no other medical problems. Okay, and so the intervention you're interested in is what? There's a new drug on the market called rivaroxaban, okay. and so I want to know how good that is. And compared to? Well, we'll compare it to the standard therapy, which is uh, hospitalization with uh, a low molecular weight heparin for a couple of days, and then oral therapy with warfarin. Okay, and so what outcome are you interested in? Uh, I want to see that it's just as safe and just as effective, and so we'll see if there are any other clots forming in uh, 30 days or so. Okay, that sounds great. So let's do a search. Okay, right. so um, let's see what the what's in the literature on this topic. Let's start with venous thrombosis. And so we go here, and then these are all the subtopics. So we'll click on therapy there, okay, and add it to the search builder. And then since you're interested in a particular intervention, you know what it is, we'll just put the intervention in here too. So there it is, and there we found it in the mesh um, headings, and so we'll just add it again to the search, and now we can search. Okay, so the, this came up with 69 uh, papers, so we can probably filter it down a little bit more, so we know that we're interested in clinical trials, so we can click on that. And that reduced it down to third, from 69 to 13. Another thing we might do, just at least to start with, is see if we can find anything in the most recent literature. So maybe we'll just limit it to five years. Okay, good. So this that knocked it down to seven, which is manageable. So now we can kind of look through here and see whether any of these is relevant to your patient sure. and intervention. That first one's on abdominoplasty, so that's not relevant. The second one is on wound complications, so we don't need that. Oral rivaroxaban for symptomatic venous thromboembolism. Can we get that one? Sure, let's look at it. So it looks like um, it is treating the condition that you're interested in, DVT, with rivaroxaban. Thank you. So that's the exact comparison I'm looking for. Perfect. So I'm not a clinician. I'm really curious. What is DVT? So what happens in a DVT is you get a blood clot that forms in your leg, mm -hmm. uh, in one of the deep veins of the leg. And the danger of this is that a little piece could break off, and then it gets lodged in your lungs. Uh, and that's actually potentially fatal. Okay, so let's look at the article and see what happened in the study. So it looks like there were um, 3,449 total patients. Okay, the first group was standard therapy. 1,718 patients in the standard therapy group. Okay. Okay? And then in the rivaroxaban group, there were 17 31. And so, so randomly, this, this group of patients got split into two, and half of them about got standard therapy, and the other half got this new therapy. Right? Exactly. Right. Okay. And the, and the patients were followed um, for 12 months. So it turns out in this um, study that 3% of the patients in the standard therapy group had a recurrent DVT. Okay. And 2.1% percent of the patients in the rivaroxaban group had a recurrent DVT. So okay. that's great. And so the safety outcome we're looking at in this study is bleeding. Right? And so it turns out that um, in both groups, the proportion of patients who experience this outcome is 8%, 8.1%. So this drug is about, uh, this is good, it's good to use, huh? Looks like it'll work for your patient. All right, great, let me go tell her. Okay, excellent, I'm, I hope she'll be happy. All right, Ms. Jackson, I did actually, you know, we, I went to the literature and I found some articles. Okay. And uh, I did find a drug that'll work, it's called rivaroxaban. Really? 
Yeah, it's a, one of the newer medications. Okay. And in this study that they did, they showed that it is just as effective and just as safe. <sighs> oh, you sure it's not the generic brand of Coumadin? It's not. It's definitely it's a newer drug. Okay. Is Oof. that is that okay? That's great. Okay, so we'll get you started on that then, okay? Oh, then then thank hopefully we'll you. get you going home very soon. Okay? Oh, good. Hurry. All right. Ready to get out of here. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Bye bye.